Okay, today I'm going to take a quick look at the new Yule Foam Armour 6. Uh, it's just a quick unboxing and uh, a quick first impressions. As a proud owner of a Yule Foam, oh well, uh, as a Yule Foam Armour 5, it's a waterproof IP68 rugged smartphone running Android 8.1. Uh, it's a great phone, it's my daily phone. Um, do a lot of um, water sports, supboarding, uh, that sort of thing. So I take it with me out on the board and um, it doesn't matter if it gets wet, even seawater. Uh, taking swimming pools and all sorts, it's great. It's great for a holiday phone, it's great for somebody who likes the outdoors, it's great for somebody that goes walking. So, uh, the Yule Phone Armour 6 has been released. Now, my wife's still got an old, battered old Samsung Galaxy S5, so uh, she does a lot of walking with me, so she could do with a, an outdoor phone, because every time it rains she can't use the screen of her Samsung and she's also worried about it getting wet. So, um, I thought I'll get the Yule Phone Armour 6. Or, I could keep the Yule Phone Armour 6 and pass on my Yule Phone Armour 5 to her. So, I'm out of it. It's arrived. It's 6.2 inch screen. 19.9 is the format. Uh, full HD. It's got an 8 core P60 processor. 6 gig of RAM. Uh, and 128 gig of internal storage, which can of course be uh, increased with an SD card. Uh, again, it runs Android 8.1 and it's got a 5 amp for 5000 mAh battery which should last 225 hours on standby apparently and it should certainly uh, last for a few days of use. Uh, I find that this will still have 80% plus battery charge after two days so I have high hopes for this too. Uh, also it's IP68 waterproof and rugged, uh, sim free and sports like this does, NFC, and I find NFC a must these days. I constantly use my phone to pay for things in shops. So, let's have a quick look. Okay, first things first, the Yule Phone Quick Charger. It supports 9 volts fast charging, which means you can probably charge your phone from flat in about half an hour, I guess. We'll have a look later. And then the handset itself. Uh, is it sealed? No, it's not sealed. It can go straight in. Okay, so that's the handset. It's a nice box. Oh, it's just a cover for the box, right? Okay. The box is very similar to the Yule Phone Armour 5, but obviously it has 6 on it. Inside, let's have a quick look. So, phone, we'll come to that in a minute. SIM tray removal tool. Um, screen protectors, which is a, a nice touch. Uh, you got those as well with the um, Yule Phone Armour 5. Is it uh, USB-C? Let's have a look. Uh, yes, it is USB-C charging cable. You get a USB-C to USB adapter as well, so you can plug devices into your phone. And a USB-C headphone adapter, which is quite uh, useful. I've not seen one of those before. I have uh, wondered before why you get screen protectors on um, rugged phones. I used to have a Cat, uh, Cat S60. Uh, that's what I replaced my Yule Phone 5 with, Cat S60. And that came with screen protectors. And I actually asked the manufacturer once and he said, whilst the screen is pretty much unbreakable, you can still scratch it. So that's, that's why you get screen protectors, I guess. Anyway, let's put all those to the sides. I'll play with those later and jump straight to the phone. So, okay. It's a nice looking rugged handset. It's got quite built up corners there, so you uh, drop the phone. Normally if you drop the phone, it's going to land on the corner. If you drop the phone flat, you're not going to do that much damage anyway, because the, uh, the body of the phone, the whole body of the phone will take the weight. But things never land flat. It'll always land slightly offset, so the corners are boosted because of that. Uh, that will also protect the screen. Um, you've got buttons for volume up and down, power off and on button is there, let's have a look. It says it's waterproof on the side of the handset. Maybe if, I can, if the camera will zoom in automatically to show. It's tracking me at the minute, there you go. Let's see. Um, and the SIM card and micro SD card are, are there where my finger is. So, um, let's turn it on and have a look. I don't know if it'll have any charge in it. The actual case, this case of the Yule Phone 5 has a nice 
metal strip down the side. It's polycarbonate case. It's again got uh, bumpers around the side, but um, nice metal feel to it there. This is a similar sort of thing. This, all down this side here, feels, let me feel it. Yeah, that is definitely metal. It's not a plastic look. That, that is definitely uh, metal down the side with uh, rubber bumpers there. Um, I don't know what that is there. I don't know if that pulls out or something. There's a little notch there. I'll have to investigate that after to see what it is. Um, okay. The camera's on the back. The camera's actually on this phone are very good. I can't remember what they are on the Yofo 5, but the camera's on this one, um, the 21 megapixel and 13 megapixel on the back, so it's a dual camera. That, that allows them to work together to take nice uh, photographs and gives you something like a depth of field that you get only get with a professional camera. So um, I agree to uh, the location. I'll turn on location, pick English. And let's see if it uh, it's defaulting to uh, English American. Let's see if I can change it to English United Kingdom and click on start. Right, so this, the phone's starting up anyway, but obviously I'm going to have to uh, pull the screen protector off it and I'm going to have to connect it to a wireless network. Uh, first impressions, let's have a look and compare it. So, compared to... Um, Compared to the Yule Phone Arma 6, uh, Arma 5, it's slightly bigger. There's not a lot in it. You can just see it poking out from the top there. Um, the Arma 5 fits nicely in the back pocket. Let's have a go at the Arma 6 as well. Let's turn it off. Yeah, that fits nicely in the back pocket. Weight wise, let's have a look. It's no heavier. It's, uh, it's about the same sort of weight, I'd say. I can't tell the difference. I, mean, I could go and grab some scales actually and measure it, but I can't tell the difference in weight. If anything, you know, it's probably a bit lighter. Yeah, I think it's a bit lighter as well. It's exactly the same height as well on the desk. There's no difference there. And if I line the two together with a box at the end, you might be able to see the difference in height there. That's about probably five millimetres higher, the Armour 6. But okay, that's the first impressions. It's a it's a lovely rugged phone. It's very easy to grip actually. Uh, they, they both are so that's that's works well in the hands. But as you can see, as it's quite flat all the way across, uh, you've not got quite as much to grip on. That because of the um, the notches in the side, that's very very easy to grip. There's no way that's going to slip out of the hand, even the cold wet hand. Uh, somebody that's on the beach or somebody that's in, uh, just come out of the water or somebody that's on the long walk, they're not going to drop that. But the bumpers, if they do drop it, is going to uh, make sure the phone survives. Um, so that's a quick first uh, first impressions and, and unboxing. 6.2 inch screen, 8 core processor, uh, 128 gig of storage built in, expandable, 6 gig of RAM, 5000 milliampere hour battery, uh, QI, wireless, 10 watt charging, 9 volt fast charging, IP68 waterproof and dustproof and rugged, uh, SIM free and NFC. So I hope that will do for now and once I've had a play with the phone and set it up I'll come back and tell you how the performance works.